What is going on everybody and welcome back. My favorite segment of life right here is when I go to my mailbox and there is a package or envelope or something of the sort waiting for me from Old Man Game. From Texas to Ontario, my friend Old Man Game has been hooking me up with all sorts of things over the last little while. If you guys didn't know, Old Man Game has also a wonderful YouTube channel where he opens up an incredible variety of things. He has recently just reached 2,000 subscribers on his channel, so that is no small accomplishment. Congratulations to you, my friend. I'm very happy for you. Now, let's get Old Man Game to 10,000 subscribers. So, I will have a link in the video description that will take you over to the Old Man Game channel. What is going on in here? There's all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, like I said, there'll be a link in the video description. Just click on the button, it'll take you right over to Nick's channel, the Old Man Game channel. And you are guaranteed to find something that you like over there because, uh, all right, what is going on here? Let's see. So we're going to just start pulling stuff out of here because there's all kinds of things in this. So first thing off the top, we got ourselves some geese cards. Nick warned me that there's going to be a lot of goose. He said, heads up, I'm sending you a box of goose. So we got a couple little ruffians here, little rapscallions. They look like they're up to no good. To no good. Chasing down some street geese right there. Don't chase the geese, guys. I have a special bond with the geese. If you chase the geese, the geese will chase you back. They don't like to be messed with, so don't mess with the cobra chicken. Now we got this package here, which looks to be a bunch of cards from Com C. And right off the front, we have a gorgeous card that I definitely do not have. I hardly have energy. Energy? I hardly have any synergy cards. So that is a beautiful one to get right there. We got two of them. That's a nice one to get. That's a two to Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be an interesting package. I can just tell. Mother Goose, a pocket full of rhymes. Oh, my. My collection is getting weirder and weirder by the week. And I absolutely love it. But I was talking about this. Look at these. Look at these gorgeous Arthur Kali of rookie cards. Both at a synergy. Both numbered to 349. Those are beautiful. I don't have either of those. And of course I don't have that wacky goose card we just got there. Father Goose. His book. <laughs> like I'm telling you guys. This is about to get interesting. So you might want to buckle up. Because this ride is about to get wild. Uh, Father Goose. Is this like a puzzle piece? This has got to be some sort of puzzle thing here. Father Goose. What is that one? Look at this. These are insane. This is insane. Like who knew there were so many geese cards? How I wonder how long you spent on Com C. Scounging through Com, Com C to try and find... I can't speak. Um, just how much time did you spend digging through Com C looking for goose cards? Goose eggs? Goose eggs Einstein? What are these? What are these? Goose eggs Einstein Einstein? Oh, man. Wow. What are these cards? These are amazing. That's a cool one right there. Gracious Goose. Like, what is going on here? The Gracious Goose. I'm telling you. Who ever expected to see this in all of their life? I got a couple of these recently, these old school cool tobacco cards from Julie Farnham, but I didn't think I got that one there. Maybe I did. The Sean Goose? I can't remember. I didn't get that one. What is going on there? The black backed, black backed goose? Black backed goose. We got a black backed goose. Fuck, say that 10 times fast. Black backed goose. Black backed goose. We have a Burnicle Goose, Burnicle Goose, all sorts of geese. There's so much stuff in this box here. I like. I am shocked at how much is packed into this package we have. Um, all right, next thing we have, what do we got? A whole bunch of, uh, my God, there's so much in here. Okay, we got a big team bag here. So there's some stuff in here. What do we have? So we have a canvas of ghee chouinard we have ghee chouinard again we have ghee chouinard <laughs> i'm noticing a trend i'm noticing it oh i broke the trend we have paul cruz and ghee chouinard again so uh 
Must have got a deal on all of these SP Authentic cards or something. Jim Paplinski, Jim Paplinski, Jim Paplinski, Hack and Lube. Hack and Lube was a great player back in the day in that King Stanley Cup team. Hack and Lube and Gila Point. I don't have any of these cards, so these are really nice to add to the collections. We have Lars Lindgren, Lars Lindgren, Lars Lindgren, Jocelyn Lemieux, Jocelyn Lemieux, Gila Point, Gila Point. These, like, this is a massive stack of SPA cards. Paul Reinhardt, Paul Reinhardt. We're getting, uh, I'm noticing a trend here. I think we got one or two doubles out of these guys. Uh, that's just one in there, another Paul Cruz. And then we have down here, whoa. That's a cool one. I haven't seen these like gold scripts. So there's a gold script uh, Paul Cruz from SPA. That's a really cool looking card right there. We have a Kawhi Leonard on uh, Mosaic. A Mosaic Kawhi Leonard. All right, I've dug out another one of these team bags. Like this is just packed. I can't believe how many cards are in this package here. All right, we have a rookie, beautiful card right there. Alex Turcotte. At a $4.99 uh, rookie synergy card with Nate Pearson rookie from Top's Finest. Definitely don't have that one either. That's a beauty. We have a Bo Bichette from Top's Chrome 2022 Allen and Ginter. There's a Calvin Biggio, uh, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. We have Teoscar Hernandez, Vladdy Guerrero. These are beautiful cards. I've never seen these before. Uh, Marcus Simeon, George Springer. We have a Hyun Jin Ryu. What is this? The Frost. Trost? Trost Titan Attack. Was it Trost? I always thought it was. So that's Attack on Titan. That's really cool right there. There's the uh, the Titan Scouts from Attack on Titan. Um, is this like a sticker? Trost Titan Attack. That's really cool. I love that little sticker right there. We have this. I don't know who this person is. Weekend anime and games. We got this person right there. And then we got <laughs> we got this. Uh I don't know what oh there's a bunch of these in here. I don't know what this is, but we got it. We got this girl. We got this girl. We got this girl. And we got this girl. So what are these from? Weiss Schwarz. They're from Wise Schwarz. I have no idea what most of these cards are, but this is always entertaining to open this stuff up like what is going on here i think we have uh enough Guy Schwinnard cards that we can rival my spinach collection with the Guy Schwinnard cards here all right we have another nate pearson rookie i don't have that one either out of mosaic we have alejandro kirk another one i don't have out of mosaic beautiful stuff look at this dude you are hooking me up with this stuff here right now we have a Blue Jays, Bo Bichette. What are these called? Some sort of, like, refractor? No idea what that is. Um, but, 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 these are from... I think this is just this year's Tops. So we got a bunch of stuff from Tops Series 1 from this year. We have a Gabriel Moreno rookie card. I was sad to see him go when they traded him off for Dalton Varsho. But I think they made the right decision. I think... Uh, like obviously the upside is a lot higher for Gabriel Moreno, but keeping Kirk and, uh, Jansen, they're kind of proven guys. Like, you know what you're getting out of Kirk, you know, we're getting out of Jansen. So I was happy that they kept, um, Jansen and Alejandro Kirk. But like I say, you never want to see a guy like that go when they have so much potential. We have Teoscar Hernandez, uh, Yusei Kikuchi. There's a Santiago Espinal. There's Matt Chapman. There is Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Danny Jansen. Uh, we got like the whole Blue Jays set here. There's a Susan the Goose. Me, oh my. What do we have here? We got, uh, we'll get these out of the way first. We got some of the retros. We have Matthew Kachuk and Johnny Gaudreau. But what do we have here? Is there three Susan the Goose cards in here? Come on, man. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, give me a second to get this opened. What do we have? What? How is this packaged? I can't even get in here. He's teasing me. 
You're teasing me with this stuff, man. All these packaging, I can't get into it. What do we got here? How many? How many do we have? We have three Susan the Goose cards here. We got three new Susans to add to the Goose PC. So this is what I'm collecting. This is the most beautiful card you are ever going to see from this year's Topps Allen & Ginter set. This is what I'm going for. Every time you guys see me up here opening these packs of Allen & Ginter, this is what we're hunting for. I may never pull it, but with amazing help from all you great people out there in the YouTube community, I am able to grow my collection and my goose collection is allowed to, uh, to grow and to flourish. We have some old school Allen & Ginter. These are the Allen & Ginter black cards. We have Sal Perez. We have Byron Buxton. We have Canley Jansen. There is Eddie Murray. There's Corbin. I forget Corbin's name. Patrick Corbin. There's a Kevin Kiermeyer who's now with the Blue Jays. There's Tyler O'Neill, who's a Canadian right there, some Canadian star power. There's Keener. There's Martinez. There's Nick Castellanos. There is Claiborne. Elvis Andrews. And yeah, I guess that's the pack. No, because this is from Allen again to Black. I don't know. We got a pack there. And we also have this. We got some Baby Yoda. We got some Din Grogu wallpaper, wrapping paper. I'm not 100% sure what that is. But last night they just had the, uh, the season finale for The Mandalorian. And I was very happy with that. It turned out to be um, almost a perfect finale in my opinion. I really liked that show. Um, and what else was I saying? I don't remember. We got this really cool Shannon Stewart card right here. I remember seeing you pull this a while back. And uh, Shannon Stewart was a legend for the Blue Jays. When I was a kid, he was like their big prospect. I really liked Shannon Stewart growing up. Um, we have, don't have this. Look at this one right here. We got this beautiful Quinton Byfield out of $8.99 from Synergy. Again, I don't have many Synergy cards, so this is really nice to add. And then this is a really cool card here too. There's Vladdy Guerrero. Vladdy Guerrero, what is this from? EX? There's so much in here, I think. Whoa, look at this. Speaking of the Mandalorian, what do we have here? Oh my goodness. We got a big stack of Mandalorian cards right here. So Old Man Game bought a hobby box of this stuff. Uh, there'll be a video up on his channel of him opening this. This is amazing. I don't have this one. I picked up a couple of these at the card show. I got the Baby Yoda and I got the Din Djarin one, but that is beautiful. We got the Ahsoka Tano. Uh, I forget what that set's called. So here we go. We have Grogu's Journey. Uh, Grogu and Luke there. We have a Daring Escape Plan. Gideon's Prize Force. Those were like the Dark Troopers. The, uh, whatever the, the troopers were in the new season, those like Stormtrooper 2.0 things. Wow. Those were, uh, those were crazy. We have Back with the Empire. There's my little guy right there hanging out with Moff Gideon. Uh, we have Remote Rendezvous. I forget that guy's name. Carl Weathers character. Delivering the Asset. Um, Din, Din Breaking In. It's weird how little he shows his face in that show. I know that's the whole point of the Mandalorians is that they don't show their face. But when you have an actor as big as Pedro Pascal is and you don't see his face for more than like 45 seconds in the show. It's it. I don't know. I was a little bit shocked. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is amazing, dude. Thank you so much for this. I'm a big collector of cards like this. So now I might have to go for the whole set. Get this whole Mandalorian set from Topps Chrome because I feel like this is a good head start here. We have an unexpected rescue. We have Pelly's new job. All right, we have pure firepower. Defending the Razor Crest, the escape. We have Grogu's connection. Look at that! Look at that guy! Give me a break right now. Tell me that's not the most adorable little bastard you've ever seen in your life. Ahsoka's ultimatum. We have the legend returns. We have the fighter assault. 
Cobb Vanth's tail. All right, and now we got some inserts. Storming the Imperial Cruiser. We have Waking Up the Beast. The Ice Beast Returns. These cards look gorgeous. Like Topps always does a great job with the Star Wars cards. Checking in with Grief Hagar. Uh, Boba's Brutal Assault. One with the Force. Echoes of the Past. In Search of the Dark Saber. Who's that there? That episode right there was one of the most incredible things I've seen on TV when Luke Skywalker showed up. Just absolutely epic. Uh, Jawa's on the defensive. There is taking back his armor. So what was that guy's name? Cobb Vanth, I believe, who had Boba Fett's armor. Um, the village fights back. We have, I forget, Queel and the Kid. I forget that guy. He was voiced by Nick Nolte, which was kind of bizarre. Uh, crashing through the ice. We have the new Marshal. And last one is the Mandalorian Foundling. So a big thank you for those, man. I did not expect to see anything like that in here. I'm shocked with all of this. This is like... I can't believe the variety of cards in this package here today. Um, and I'm not even done. I'm not even done. This still feels like there's half a box full of stuff in here. All right, now what are these here? What are these? Ducks on the pond. We got some chrome ducks. I've never seen this before. All right, we have Topps Chrome, Alan and Ginter Topps Chrome. Ducks on the pond. It's not a goose, but we will take it. And then we have a web gem. Web gem. I don't know what the web gem's about, but we got a web gem there. We got a team bag with some kind of a skull-shaped coin, skull-shaped trinket. It's Pokemon. It says Pokemon on it. I don't know what that's all about. We got this little Pokemon heavy metal thing. It's pretty good quality. Like, it's nice and heavy. But I don't know what that's... Oh, we got slap nuts. We got creepy slap nuts on here. All right, all right. Slap nuts by now everybody knows slap nuts and everybody loves slap nuts but if you're some for some reason you are not acquainted with this crazy old man You've got to go check out the Slap Nuts is Gaming channel and uh, just sit back and enjoy. Just sit back and enjoy. I'm telling you, that guy is one entertaining person. Uh, we have a Clayton Keller base card. Clayton Keller base card. I don't know why that's in a, in a, a card protector, but that's a thing we got. We have Josh Bailey. We have JT Comfer. We have Chris Tierney. And we have a Leon Dreisaitl. I like these. I like these electromagnetic cards. Big fan of those right there. Um, now, what is this? Look at the packaging on this. Like this. All right, just give me one second here, just so I can uh, get into whatever is going on here. Oh, this is really cool. So there was an insert set from, I believe, what year was it? Twenty twenty called uh, Where Monsters Live, and I have a sneaking suspicion this is going to be the whole set. So I see Where Monsters Live, and this was from, yeah, 2020. So I do have a couple of these, but I definitely don't have the whole set, and I have a feeling, yeah, this is going to be the whole set here. So we have Under the Stairs, Where Monsters Live, Under the Bed, we have A Dark Tunnel, The Swamp, a sewer drain, an old trunk, the ocean, we have the closet, we have a cave. Like, these look beautiful. I'm not really doing this much justice because I'm rushing through all of this stuff. But they did a great job on the artwork with these cards. That is beautiful. I especially like that one right there. I don't know what it is. I think that's Slap Nuts right there himself. There he is. There's Slappy. 
This one says full set written on the front. So I guess we got a full set of whatever this is here. What are these? World's Wordsmiths. I have never seen these before. What year is this from? Oh, I can't read it. Uh, 20... 2010 Allen and Ginter. Yeah, that is way before I was opening up Allen and Ginter. So what are these all about? We have uh, World's Wordsmith. So these are famous poets, I guess. Famous poets of Shen Kuo. We have Victor Hugo. Uh, Fyodor, that guy. Dostoevsky. Uh, Michael Cervantes. Oh, I dropped him everywhere. Oh, I drop and everything everywhere. Okay, we're back. We're back here. We have this guy here, Washington Irving, William Shakespeare. We have Homer. Not familiar with Homer, but we got Homer. Uh, Confucius. Confucius said some deep stuff. We have Plato. We have John Bunyan. Uh, Virgil. Marcus Aurelius. Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, Dante Alighieri. And John Milton. So this was meant to be. This was a sign right here. Because we were talking about Slap Nuts. And for a short while there. People might remember this. Slap Nuts was going by Poe. So Slap Nuts is going by Poe. We got a Slap Nuts is gaming card. And now we have an Edgar Allan Poe card. Coincidence? I don't think so there people. And what do we have here? We got one more of these team bags. And it looks like we got some more Mandalorian stuff in here. Dude, thank you for all these Mandalorian cards. All right, we got we got another Baby Yoda. There he is, safe and sound, Baby Yoda. Uh, another Mandalorian's secret passenger. The crews assembled. There's Bill Burr, uh, Tuscan Raider. Fate of the Mandalorians. This card here kind of reminds me of that scene from Detroit Become Human, where you're in the. Uh, we're near in the junkyard, piecing yourself back together piece by piece. I don't know if anybody out there watching this video has heard of or has played Detroit Become Human, but that is one of the most incredible experiences that you can ever put yourself through in life. Big fan of Detroit Become Human, and I cannot recommend recommend that game enough if anybody is looking for uh, a good game to play. We have Village Under Siege, Enter the Hunter, we have the Mandalorian Foundling, Jawas on the defensive, the fight is on, and we have the village fights back. So I believe that's it for this massive package we got here today. Like this was just absolutely loaded with stuff. Cannot thank you enough for this, my friend. Uh, big thank you. I always appreciate whenever anybody sends me in anything. I always feel like I'm not worthy and I don't deserve this stuff. So again, I will have a link in the video description that will take you over to the Old Man Game channel. Nick, thanks buddy, I really appreciate this. Like I say, it's been, uh, it's always been interesting opening up these packages. Like I am never gonna know what's gonna come out of this stuff next. It's an absolute guessing game. We have here today, Cole Calhoun. Babe Ruth, I, I already ruined the mini. Like why, why am I so bad at opening this? Babe Ruth. We have Kim, we have Joe Carter, and we have Austin Meadows. So we did not get a spinach card. So we didn't get a spinach card, but we still have a chance at the goose. So we got three new goose cards in this package here today. So fingers crossed we can add one more to our collection here. I thought we had something thick in there, but I am mistaken. We do not. So we got, what do we have? We have Nolan Ryan. We have Lazardo. We have Schuster. We have Martin Sheen. That's a weird one right there. Uh, Manny Ramirez and our mini is a muse and we have house so we did not get a spinach we did not get a goose but we got an absolute insane variety of things in this package here today so again big thank you to my friend old man game thanks everybody for checking out this video today I hope that you all have a great day and enjoy the polls <laughs>